Hi golfers, today I'm here to review the Multicaddy M7 remote. Now, I've been on the market for over a month for an electric trolley and this is the second trolley I've had delivered to me. If you watch my other video guys, just in the corner, in the corner there, or there, whichever way, yeah, if you watch my video in the corner, then that video is about the Power Caddy FX7. This video is about the Multicaddy Remote M7. If you're on the market for an electric trolley, you've got a decision to make. Do you want a GPS model or do you want a remote model? Those are the two key features on the market. You cannot have both. I know it seems quite obvious you would want both. You want it to have GPS or remote, but it doesn't exist. You have to choose one or the other. I started off with a GPS trolley and I realized it wasn't for me and now I've returned it and I've got a remote version. I would assume and an assumption that all the other remote trolleys would be very very similar and I think I would recommend any remote trolley over a GPS trolley for some of the functions that it has that I just didn't see on the GPS models. So after you've got whether you want remote or GPS the next big feature is do you want it to be compact most of the remote ones at the high end of the scale tend to be a bit more compact now the price of these trolleys the trolley I bought it was on the market for 899 and within the space of three weeks it jumped a hundred pounds so it's now selling on the market for 999 if you can find it anywhere under 999 then you know you've got yourself a bargain because it's gone up hundred pound I assume because it's the summer I know that price is subjective what is expensive to some people might be cheap to others so for me I'm just getting out there into the open this was quite an expensive buy for me and I had to do a lot of research and even when I did my research I still made mistakes hence the reason I've made this video so you guys don't make the same mistakes I made and end up returning your first trolley before you realize what the real advantages are so I bought this with my hard-earned cash I'm still filling it in my pocket now and I'm gonna go through some of the functions that I think make this stand out from the other trolley the most important feature that this trolley has and that you will need is this this is called an anti-tilt feature so when the trolley goes backwards this wheel will touch the ground and it will stop the trolley from tilting guys this is a must any trolley you buy make sure it has the anti-tilt feature when I want to pack it away I'm using one hand so just pull it out like that and it comes out so when the trolley wants to fold it can fold when I need it so I could use it without it but you hear it, it clicked into place there very important feature because this is a remote trolley you don't get much of a screen it's just a very small screen and I don't know if you can see it there but it says 2 that is the speed that the trolley um, is set to at the moment if I was to press my remote which I've got here now this is the battery and I must admit uh, once you plug it in here it's on with the power caddy you had a switch for the battery you could switch it on and off but with the motor caddy once you plug this in it's on so once you do that it's on and it's ready to go pull it out it's off so remember that guys if you don't want your battery to drain down now this is 28 volts 28 volt battery can do 36 holes and have some left over you can pull these wheels off turn them round and put it on like that this saves you space when you're packing it inside your car let's let's compare the sides so on this side six inches we've saved ourselves guys six inches I'm sure a lot of you could do with six inches <laughs> so you can see I've plugged that in and let's compare it to the other side so yeah you just saved yourself six inches plug it out like that turn it round now when the trolley 
when the trolley is like this, if you try to use the remote, it won't go forward. You'll hear a noise, but the trolley won't move. That's your trolley, guys. It won't move. It's stuck. Then if you guys can hear that move, we press stop, and it stops. When we put the wheel back, now guys, I'm a terrible gardener. You can see that my garden is not level. So even just in my back garden, my trolley's getting a bit of work. So I've changed the wheels, I've changed the wheels back round. If I get the remote and press it, stop. All right, so it definitely works. Look, I can even reverse it, stop. So if you press plus, it moves forward. If you press minus and hold it down, it will come back. You can spin it, you can spin it back. So it can do quite a lot, guys. If we come to the side here, we've got two lock positions. So you've got a lock position here, you've got a lock position here, and a lock position down there. Let's open it up. This is it unlocked. The hand folds down. And that's it. You can see how compact it is. And we can still pull this out to make it even smaller. Okay, so you lift it back up. Look, I'm doing it with one hand. Shows you how easy it is. Click that, put that down, and it's done. Ready to go to the golf course. If you can spare it, definitely get one. Some people ask, why should I get an electric trolley? Now, I know everybody's got different opinions. I'm just gonna give you my opinion. In my research of golf, the parts that tend to hurt people tend to be either their shoulder, their back, or their legs. I'm trying to avoid all of those. And any gadget that can have me playing golf longer and keep me injury free, once I can afford it, I will try to invest in it. So that's my reason for buying one. See guys, I've given you a reason, use that. So what's the feature you're looking for? One, you want anti-tilt. What's the second feature you want? Well, we've already said it. You want the remote. You want to have that remote. That remote means so much, but there's another feature as well. When you buy these trolleys, they do not come with a scorecard. Now, I don't care about a scorecard. It means nothing to me because I use my phone, but you'll find one of these very useful. Now I put it back in the box just to show you guys, because I've been using this since I've had the golf trolley. This is the scorecard, which goes onto the side of the trolley. Why do you want this? What is so important about this that I tell you, if you buy a remote trolley, make sure you get a scorecard. Any guesses? Oh well, I'll show you. This is your scorecard, you'll have it. You slide it open. You put your balls and your tees. That's where they go. Yep. It comes in really handy. It means you don't have to keep on going into your bag. Um, it's just by the side. So I'm gonna put this on the trolley now and I'll show you another feature I've got for you. Wait one more second. This is the Motocaddy scorecard. As I've shown you, you slide it on and you close it. So we've got that on. It's a simple bolt in here. So guys, you can even put something on the other side. Look. That's the cap. Okay, that's it. The last thing I've got to say is, why would you not buy a GPS golf cart? For this one particular reason. Anybody know what this is? This is a cradle. So essentially, I can attach this to my cart, and once I attach this, I can plug my phone in, and voila. I've got as much GPS as I want that's on my phone. So I had this on and I could actually charge my phone on the actual golf course. So that's something I didn't tell you about. USB port. So you have a USB port under your trolley. Now, I bought this 
each. This was 20 pounds, this was about 25 pounds. But you can buy a bundle for 70 pounds, which also has the umbrella. So if you want to put an umbrella over your electric tr uh, trolley as well, you could have that option. Now I'm never going to use an umbrella, so I never, I didn't buy it. But you definitely want the scorecard because you don't want to keep on going to your bag to get balls out. So this is definitely a must. And if you're somebody that feels like you lost out on the GPS, then you can put this there. Because of the kind of bag that I've got, um, it has to sit in reverse. I don't know why that is, but it has to sit in the trolley in a reverse way. I probably would have preferred it if the bags were facing the outside, but for this particular, I had this with all the trolleys that I've had. For some strange reason, it has to sit this way in there, which is not um, ideal. But we just strap that up there, it hooks in there. So we take that and strap that in there, clipped in very easy. You come down here and it strips them very easy. So within seconds, I've got that on. So it doesn't take long. It's the best money I've ever spent. I am over the moon about this purchase and I know I'll use it for many years. It's got a five year warranty on the battery it works a treat guys i don't think i can go back i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe guys i have to be factual with you this is such a great buy